Welcome back to a new episode about how we could update our database. Updating database rows can be very useful for a password reset. So whenever a user fills in his new password and clicks on the submit button, the PHP code will do a request to the database to update the current password. So let's go right inside of our database called PHP Tutorials and let's click on the users table. You can see that we have five rows and let's click on SQL to create a new update query. Let's remove everything that's inside of our query box. And let's open a new local host, PHP my admin. Let's click on the tutorial and open our table. What I actually want to do right now is to update the name of the second row. So let's say that we want to set our name equal to Dari90 and our password to new password. And in order to do this, we need to go to our previous tab and start writing a query. To update a row, you need to start with the keyword update, space, followed by the name of the table that you want to update. So let's say users. Now what I actually want to do from now on is to make our queries more readable. So after our first update, let's hit enter. And on the next line, I want to continue on writing a query. So we need to write set space, and then we need to write down what we actually want to change inside of our table. So we want to set our username equal to, well, single quotes, and we need to change our password as well, so comma. Right inside of our single quotes, we want to set our username to Dari90. And after the comma, I want to write down password and set the value equal to new password. So whenever you want to update information, you need to use a where statement. Because if we look at that query right now, what we're basically saying is update users, set username equal to Dari90 and password to new password. And if we click on go right now, all the rows will be affected and all the usernames are equal to Dari90 and all the passwords are equal to new password. And that's not what we want. So let's go on the next line and write down where. And what we want to update is the second row. So let me show it to you. So we want to update where ID is equal to two. Let's go back to our query and let's write that down. We want to update where our ID is equal to two. Let's click on go and you can see that run row is affected. Let's click on our table again and you can see that our ID stayed the same because we didn't change that, but our username is changed to Dari90 and our password changed to new password. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.